Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Paragon Guide series, making this video very quick to show you the value of one point upgrades. I have been getting um, a, a few kind of requests to explain why one point upgrades are so important and I think this is the best way how. Sorry for no webcam, uh, it's, something's fishy. So. Why are one-point upgrades so good? It simply comes down to extracting the value of the fully upgraded bonuses on cards. So, let's take a look here at scenario one. We have six cards for our six slots that we have, and with a fully upgraded bonus, a three-point card, card XP, or card, C, card power, with a three-point card, there's actually four points of value on the card when you include the fully upgraded bonus. So if you buy a three point card, as we can see right here, you get a four point value once you upgrade it for three points, or in other words, one point upgrades. So in total, you have spent six and you get four of value from the card and the three that you upgraded. So you do this for all six cards, you get, yes little man, you get four, you get, you get four points of value per card plus the, your upgrades, equaling out to total CP that you have spent, being these two here, being 36, but the total value is actually the card value plus your upgrade value is 42. As you can see, you get six extra points of value when you go for the those fully upgraded bonuses with those one point upgrades. Now this is when you have only spent 36 card power. That is, you know, that's the, well it depends on how, how good you are at collecting CP. That could be the mid game, could be late mid game, it could be the uh, early, early late game really, but I mean the point is is that obviously if you can get 42 points of value for only 36, hell, I would certainly do that. So let's go here to scenario two. Three point upgrades on the cards. You're just going three point upgrades, just keeping it simple. Three point upgrades on all of your cards. Card one, card two, and card three. You get, you know, the fully upgraded bonuses for, for those, and you get, um, you know, the nine points of, uh, nine points of value from your three point upgrades, and for it, for 36 total CP you have spent on those three cards, you get a total value of 39, three points less. Now, you might be saying three points less isn't that much, but remember, in the early game, and until level five or so, um, if you can do six and a half more points of damage, that's increasing your, your basic attack by well, anywhere from almost 10% to probably close to 20%. If you are only doing 35 damage for your basic attack and you can increase it by six points, well that, ladies and gentlemen, is about 15% increase. It's significant in the early to early mid game. Those points are significant. They can turn into a significant advantage when you use it properly. Scenario three is really the, well, the, not the only uh, scenario left, but um, what's quite common is going three to one point upgrades or simply two point upgrades the whole time. It equals the same thing, six total upgrade card power. So as you can see, you can get an extra card here over the three point um, scenario and you're down to, you're up to 40 from 39, but you're still down to card points. Now, this kind of shows you that you get the most value with those one point upgrades. However, this requires a lot of one point upgrades. Um, you know, 18, 18 one point upgrades, uh, you know, the majority of them you're gonna want to be damaged. Um, that's going to be hard to get. You're gonna get, you're gonna need a lot of decks. So simply this is quite hard to do. I can't do that, so what, I'm left doing is getting about three cards with one point upgrades and then I have to start adding in two point upgrades in there. But the lesson is the same. 
however long you can go with one point upgrades, it is better than doing it with this. And remember, this first card should be award. It really should be. This should be award. I mean, you can certainly get awards that are very pertinent to what you're doing. So it's really card two, three, and four where you really start to get, you know, into your build, into a particular function role that you're trying to do uh, better. So, I mean, if you can get six, uh, sorry, five other cards, you know, three ahead of this situate of this scenario, two ahead of this scenario, getting those different stats that make you, you know, better at a tanky fighter, right? I think that's absolutely way more advantageous than this. So say this person's trying to be a tanky fighter. Well, they've gotten their ward, they've gotten attack speed maybe because it scales really well, and they got um, a little bit of crit with say. Well, this person has gone and gotten their ward, they've gotten their attack speed, they've gotten um, they've got maybe a little bit of a tanky card, maybe this person did the same, this got a tanky card, but they've gotten a little bit more attack speed, maybe some crit on a really cool fury card or something than this. I think you get my point where this person's going to have a much more balanced build, a much more effective in the role that they're trying to do than this person. That is the value of one point upgrades, fleshing out your build as, f as quick as possible, getting more value for the total CP that you can spend, and then later on upgrading these cards with higher pointed upgrades, getting, you know, an interesting active or an interesting passive to once, you know, try to weed out that full, those fully upgraded bonuses simply because they scale less into the late game. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to help you. Um, I try to respond to absolutely every single comment. Um, if I don't, it's probably just because you're saying thanks or something. So I respond to every single thing. Please let me know what you think and if that made sense. Uh, if you liked the video, like it, please. If you dislike it, dislike it, leave your comments in the section below, share it with the community, and of course, subscribe. If you liked it, uh, found it useful, I want to be able to do it for you in the future. So, till next time, take care.